Hi everyone, this is Mary Michonne from Bensell Greenhouse in Toledo, Ohio. And I have been using Plant Skid for well over seven years. Today I'm going to show you how to mix the powder form of Plant Skid animal repellent. Your Plant Skid comes in a, a package like this inside the box. And in there is also a pamphlet and a nice filter. So what we're going to do is just going to get, get to it. I'm going to show you real quickly how to, um, how to mix this powder up. So I've gathered everything that I need. I've got my plant skid and I've got my gallon of water because I'm going to use the whole package. We're going to go ahead and pour it inside my bucket. And now what I'm going to do is I want you all just to kind of take a, a quick look at the powder inside here. And I'm not going to add the whole full gallon of water. What I'm going to do is add about a fourth of, of the gallon. And I'm going to start off mixing it pretty slowly. I've got a wooden spoon. I do like wooden spoons because I do like how you can smash it up against the side. But on the back of the box, the Plant Skid Company actually recommends that you use a whisk, which really does work really nice. So what I'm doing is I'm starting to mix. I can even scrape the sides of the bucket really nicely with this. And I'm just going to start to mix it. And you slowly can feel all of the little clumps disappear. I just kind of rotate my, my whisk around. And you can literally see that the clumps go. They start going away and it starts turning into what I call a black silk. It's very, very easy. Using the powder formulation is really the most economical way for you to use the plant skid animal repellent because what you can do is you can mix a cup or you can mix the whole thing. You can do a couple plants that have some are troublesome like like your daylilies or you can mix a whole package and do your entire yard. That's what's really nice about it. The container is resealable and now I've just added all of the rest of the water in here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this really nice filter that they give you that's elastic around the edge. I'm going to place it up and around my sprayer and I'm going to pour it in. And you can just see as we pour it in how smooth the liquid is. Now this is draining really, really nicely. I usually put it right back in my bucket add a little bit of water and sometimes you can just come and place this on some plant material that maybe causes a problem. But it's as simple as that. It's very easy to mix. It works really, really nicely. So have fun. Mix your own powder. Go out and enjoy your yard.